All right, so welcome to part three of our tutorial. So in this tutorial, we're just gonna um, go ahead and import our model from Maya and start creating our uh, cool texture. So here's the final model. All right, so let's uh, jump right in. All right, in this video, let's take our uh, blaster and bring it into Substance Painter. So one other thing that I've done um, is I actually selected these faces right here and I just simply scaled um, scaled them and the only other thing I've done is once I scaled them I actually had to just um, move these um, shapes so let me just show you so this was like this right and once I scaled it the uh, only other thing I had to do is actually grab these uh, edges here on the bottom and the top just like that and I just use my scale tool with the soft selection uh, to kind of position them in the center back where uh, just kind of aligned with this top part so I wanted to point that out if you are interested in following along with me um, in Substance Painter and you don't have this change or uh, maybe you're not really interested in uh, modeling, you just want to play around on Substance Painter, I will give uh, this um, model uh, in the description so you can just download it and uh, follow along if you want. Okay, so that is good news. So let's go ahead and export this into uh, Substance Painter, right? So I'm just going to select it, go to File, Export, and I'm going to call this uh, Model Blaster uh, Low.FBX. And I'm going to make sure that my file type is set to FBX. And I haven't really changed uh, any other settings. So this is all by uh, default. So I'm going to say Export. All right, so let's let's jump into um, substance and so I already started testing it but obviously let's start from the beginning if you say file new select you can just select the um, low FBX say open and let's leave everything alone and just say okay all right so this is how it comes in just like in um, in Maya and one thing I want to point out if you are doing your own model and some of the um, some of the edges are not smooth for example if um, any of the shapes are not smooth you can actually go into Maya and manually select parts of the model that you want um, to be you know soft edges so then you just go to mesh display and just do a soft edge so i've actually had to do that with a couple places like the barrel part i wanted this to be really smooth i don't want any um, kind of uh, sharp lines on it so keep that in mind but again if you want to just follow uh, with whatever i have just simply download uh, this same exact model all right so let's jump back into substance all right, so in here, the first uh, step we want to do is we want to um, bake the maps. So I'm just going to use a low, my own low uh, mash as a high poly, and just say bake. And so this just takes a few seconds. All right, so once it's done baking, um, it generates all these cool maps for us, right? So the uh, only problem I see, just kind of looking over really quick, everything looks really nice, except there's some problems right there in the bottom. And those are really easy to fix. That's coming from the normal map. Uh, when you bake, um, it just sometimes has 
small issues that you just have to manually uh, touch up. And you know it's coming from the normal map because if you actually delete this for one second, it goes away. So I'm going to do Command Z to undo. So there's a couple ways we can deal with this. We could actually delete the normal map here. And as you can see, it doesn't really do anything else to the mesh because we're just kind of uh, using a low um, poly model, right? So there's really not much detail that we've lost. And maybe that's okay. And if we wanted to, we could actually um, add that at any point. So for now, let's just go ahead and delete it because I don't, again, I don't really need it. And um, I don't need this layer either that Substance Painter gives us by default. And let's just grab something like Steel Dark and just drag it onto our layers. And right away we have something like this, which looks really cool. Um, let's just figure out what part of the weapon maybe we want to be. Maybe we could have some silver with some gold. So maybe I'm going to grab this gold here and just put it right over it. And that looks cool too. And now since we have the bottom is the silver and the top is gold, I can right click, say black mask. And let's just tell uh, Substance Painter which part of the uh, model we want to be gold. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this, this, and this. And we can also turn on our symmetry. And let's go ahead and maybe get this bottom here. Maybe the trigger could be gold. And maybe this whole piece up here could be gold too. So that has kind of this ancient sci-fi retro look, if that's a thing. That's what we got going on here. Kind of looks like could be like an ancient Egypt, but yet it's sci-fi, which is uh, kind of cool, I think. And right away, let's uh, have some fun and add the uh, emission map. I love the emission map. So I'm going to add um, the emissive. So that is being added right there, you can see. And let's go ahead and add a uh, color. And let's uncheck everything except the emissive. And let's go with like a, maybe like a orangey kind of a orangey red. And I'm going to call this uh, glow. All right, so let's figure out what part of the model we want to glow. So I'm going to add a black mask there, go to my, um, fill and let's just go ahead and click um, click on this and then I'm gonna tell substance which parts of the model I want to glow so because we had symmetry on it selected both sides which is great and let's just maybe glow this because maybe he's shooting some sort of uh, plasma and obviously right now it's not glowing that's because we have to turn it on so let's go ahead and go and do that so i'm gonna turn on my shadows um put them to like 50. let's turn up our um, background and let's turn on the glare turn that to bloom let's turn on the anti-alias all right, and now I'm interested in the emissive, which is right here. So let's turn this on. So it looks like there's energy inside our weapon. And the other thing we can do, if we can go up here, we can actually choose different uh, environments. So let's see. We can try a couple different ones, see which one looks better. I, I think I'm gonna go with this one. Mundarine, Mundarine. So I think that looks really cool. And if you hold down shift and right mouse button, you can kind of move the lights around. And that 
and if we wanted to we can turn off our symmetry kind of take a look at our sci-fi weapon so that's uh, really cool and let's do for fun let's add some detail right here and actually I'm gonna turn this back on I want it on both sides so to add some detail here I'm gonna actually add a new uh, layer so just a uh, not a fill layer an, uh, just a normal layer and I'm go to um, let's go to alphas and let's grab an alpha that's just something like like a circle so how about this I'm gonna take this circle and what I want to do is I'm going to turn off everything. I just want the height and the normal map I'm going to leave. And actually just the height, that's all I want. And I'm going to do, uh, let's see, let's raise it. Let's see what that looks like. That looks really cool. And maybe actually I don't want this shape. Maybe it would be better to do something like this and you can see it's doing it on both sides so let's do something like that just playing around doesn't really doesn't really matter and let's also I'm gonna grab this shape here and make it smaller and you know what? Let's go to emissive, actually. And let's see if we can make this glow. So maybe something, something like that. So it looks like there's energy coming from the bottom as well. So I think that's uh, pretty neat. If we want to, we can go back up here. Let's call this detail. And let's just do a couple more. Maybe let's grab something like, uh, let's see. If you don't have some of these uh, shapes, I just thought of that. Um, you can just download a bunch of alphas online. There's a ton, ton of places. If you just look for free alphas for Substance Painter, I might have uh, downloaded a couple extra shapes that you might not see in your program but um, these are just basic uh, Photoshop PSD files that you can even draw or make yourself just make a black and white PSD file and that's what this is very simple shapes okay um, again you can download tons of them so right now I'm just gonna double click on this one and I'm interested in seeing if I can add some lines up here maybe um, maybe let's indent them instead of raising them yeah something like that I think is cool I think that looks really neat again just playing around there's no rules for this just having fun um, and let's just do one more shape just for fun so I'm gonna grab this circle or maybe this guy and come here and just go boink so maybe there's a shape on the back so again you obviously can go crazy with this and add as much detail as you want I'm gonna stop I think you get the idea um, how simple it is and the only other thing maybe I can do is add some different color to the handle so that's uh, let's just do that real quick so I'm gonna add another layer on top and maybe we can make it um, I'm gonna turn off all these all I want is color maybe make it kind of a reddish I don't know let's just play around, play around and see what looks good so I'm gonna make it kind of burgundy and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click say black mask um, grab my fill tool go to um, this button here and just click on it 
I think that looks good. And then let's do, uh, let's play around. Let's try an overlay. Kind of gives us a really cool, I'm gonna turn this off so I can see better. Kind of a royal handle. I think that looks really cool actually. You know what, I'm gonna go with that. Yeah, so that's it. So now uh, we have this awesomely textured sci-fi low poly uh, weapon. And if you like it, um, please subscribe and I'll just keep making more of these and hopefully you learned uh, something. All right, so thanks for watching.